This morning I want to um, acknowledge the publication of the Mother and Baby Home, the institution, the payment scheme. I want to welcome the scheme and I would um, ask that, that we would have a debate in this House about that scheme and the importance and what, what went into the makings of that scheme and the, 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 the huge work that Minister Roderick O'Gorman undertook to get that scheme um, published yesterday. Um, the consultation that he has been doing for the past, since he entered office, to get that scheme over the line. Um, and, and on another note, I would just like to ask um, and reiterate on record the importance of the church paying up. We have 800 million um, of very worthy money to these women and children. And the state, um, the church, owes them um, acknowledgement and owes the state and should, be, and should pay up for, for the wrong, wrongs done onto these women as well. And let's not forget that every single, um, every single woman uh, was paid for by the state. These institutions were paid to look after these women and children. Each one of them had a capitation on their heads. Not one um, worker in these homes were hungry. They all had, were fed. They were, no, they were might have been class as charities, but they were no charity. Um, and they tortured and abused these women, and every single penny is, is, um, that, that the women and children get, um, they are deserved. And I also want to highlight that Glaxo Smithline, they benefited from, from clinical trials done on to children um, in these homes. And they deserve, they should be paying up as well. We don't know what, how, how much money that they, they, they gained from these trials, um, illegal trials, and uh, they, they deserve to be answerable to that as well. Thank you.